hi guys how are you guys doing i hope you're keeping safe i hope you guys are doing well so today i wanted to change up the master bedroom and i want to, to run you guys through real quick <laughs> if you're new here welcome my name is agatha i do a lot of videos on diy home styling home decor and a few hauls here and there so um if that's your kind of content please subscribe and um like the video please like the video it's going to really help my channel grow so let me take you guys through the room and then um i can show you what um we want to do to do a few changes in the bedroom and then maybe we can get to it so let's go so when you walk into the bedroom that is the office area so these are the few pieces of wood that you'll be using and that's the mirror over there and a few items so we have um alfie's office area over there and more i also use it to edit over there and then on this other side of the room we don't have anything much we have the wardrobe and then we also have his deck uh the shoe rack and my makeup so what i really want i we want to swap to exchange we, we move this office this side and then we can be able to take this shoe rack to that side and also make a vanity mirror because i feel like everything of mine is everywhere as you can see i need a very nice storage space and a good space for my makeup so that's what you're thinking of doing and then it has become like a cluttering point as you can see up there i throw almost everything <laughs> up there so we want to declutter that and then um create some more space for for me basically I'm lost in a city A shadow racing towards the light. I pray to see you one more time. So now that you have confirmed that the brackets are strong enough to hold the desk, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to be screwing the desktop um, on the bracket. So I'm going to be using the other brown MDF that we had before. So if you watch the bedroom makeover part one, you remember we had this brown board um, before. So it's the one we're going to be returning here. And then the white one that was on top here is the one we're going to be using for the dresser because I don't want to buy any other... Um, you know mdf so we have already put it together we have used nails on these four points we've used um the normal nails this time around we didn't use any screws and we used these one and a half inch nails and we hammered them together that's very simple i didn't see the need of showing you guys that and then we're going to be drilling this on the wall over there so we're going to be um drilling just two holes in the mdf in the vanity desk for um for holding it down on the wall for mounting it on the wall so you guys are going to be seeing that in a few So now we have um, locked in the desk to see how how stable it is and now that you've confirmed it's stable we're going to unscrew it and fix the bottom part which um, we're going to be using a sheet of plywood and we're going to be joining this using nails so even if you don't have power tools this DIY is very easy for each and every one of you you can use this for the DIY 
and then over here you remember the matandiko that i replaced imagine i didn't throw away those pieces of wood they are the ones that you're going to be using to make the inner drawer for the vanity desk so we've basically joined these um pieces of wood together all the exact measurements that have been used are going to be in the description box below so if you need that you're going to get them down in the description box so we have already joined together the pull up drawer and i need to hammer that part down So we are basically um, um, fixing the drawer rail on the initial outer desk. So we are using that um, just to screw it in. It comes with a screw. Yeah, it comes with a screw. So we are basically screwing that in and then we are going to screw the other small part um, on the drawer, on the pull-up drawer so that it can be easy just to pull it out. And now we're going to test how it's doing, if, it's, if it can be pulled out well before we fix the drawer and I think it works perfectly. Now it's time to um, fix the other part, the other piece of metal on the drawer and that's what you're doing right about now. And as I said before, all the measurements of this and everything that you used are going to be then in the description box below so make sure you check them out and um, if you want to do a replica of this you're going to be guided um, thoroughly <laughs> just fix the drawer onto the desk and it works perfectly it's sliding smoothly and um, what you just did we basically um, put um, the top of the the other last piece of the desk we attached it to the pull-up drawer as you can see and then we just put in handles so this part you just hammer them down and as you can see i already ruined um the desk <laughs> the mdf part with the white so we're going to be covering that with the vinyl paper and we use those two screws to screw um the desk onto the wall to mount it on So this is the other half of the MDF and we have drilled holes halfway as you can see we have only drilled them halfway and now we're going to be taking a smaller drill bit the circular drill bit and we're going to be drilling inside as you can see so that you can have like two parts where the top part of the bulb just sits on top of it and the other smaller one can be inside it so we don't have to screw the bulbs on the MDF and I know that sound that's a bit hard to understand so you guys are going to be seeing what I mean in a minute <laughs> so 
this is what I was talking about. So we drilled the first big hole into half and then we took the other small drill bit and drilled it all the way through so that you can have like like a step. Like I don't know how to explain this but you guys can see this very very clearly. So um you don't have the first hole doesn't go all the way through. We just pinned it halfway and now we're going to be trying out the bulbs to see if they're going to fit. I hope this fits well and um, when we tried it, we drilled the big hole um, a bit too high. We drilled it halfway. So now what you're going to do, we'll have to drill the big hole again for it to be three quarter way because the distance from the, the, the lower um, bulb holder to the top one is quite big so they can't be screwed together. So right now what you're going to do, we are drilling it to go down a bit to be three quarter way so that when we put the bottom part of the bulb holder and the top part they can be able to screw in together and they will be able to reach each other and we don't have to drill um we don't have to record to screw these um bulb holders in i hope that makes sense if you understand if you don't just hit the comment section and i'll try to explain it much further for you So now that we've confirmed that the bulbs are working, we are going to mount this on the wall because we want it to look like a floating vanity mirror and we're going to be using these three pieces of wood to mount it on the wall. We're going to be drilling these three exact pieces of wood on the wall and then we're going to be drilling um, the whiteboard with the bulbs on the three pieces of wood. Do you get what I'm saying? I hope you do. <laughs>
So now let's move over to the making of the bench. So we have three pieces of wood that we've joined together. And um, I have, I'm also using the remaining batting from the previous project, the other bedroom project, and the remaining sponge. You can get all these items from Gikomba. The batting is the white uh, material, and then the sponge, you can also get it from Gikomba. And I'm basically using my staple gun just to hold them in. Like this is the easiest and the simplest part of them all. <laughs> And now that you're done, we're going to be cutting off all the excess batting so that you can have a very clean and neat bench. And also don't forget to staple down the sides of the bench as well. So we're going to be using um, the staple gun as well to staple down the batting. Make sure you pull it a bit so that it can be tight and firm on the bench. So because we want um, something to be our, our bench to be very, very neat and good looking as well. Cindy. <laughs> So now what I'm doing, I'm stapling down the material on one side of the bench, on one side of the bench. So you need to do this in a very straight line so that it can look neat. Okay. And then on the other side, what we did, we got these two pieces of lipping. Lipping is um, the... the the strap that you use to cover the sides of the MDF. So we took this lipping and this half inch nails and then we placed them. We just pinned them in the lipping and now we're going to be pinning them in the fabric. And then once they have all gone through the fabric, we're going to flip them over and nail this to the MDF. Um, to the MDF. So we're going to have a very neat finishing on the bench on the sides so that's why we're doing this so we can't staple this side as well because it's not going to be neat it's going we're going to see the staple so this is one hack that i learned online i learned it from diy creatives he's an american furniture youtuber he does a lot of diys so for more extensive details maybe you can check that channel out Till I get up, time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't wanna waste what's left. And on and on we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, to my shadow. Turns the sun rays and on and on we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, and on and on we'll go. Oh, 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 oh. 
feel the waves cut through me Hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in Hold tight, hold tight Chemicals collide Hold tight, hold tight Hold tight Dripping lights Paint the sky Make it last forever Stop in time